Hi, and welcome to another webinar in our series from Nicopier Labs. I'm Dan Morgan, the Quality Assurance Director here. What is quality? Quality has several definitions and several different meanings. <clears throat> On our Nicopier website, we list a few of the different meanings of quality, which range from process quality to consumer quality. With all these definitions, one thing remains constant, and that is quality. Quality as in a high quality, good product. Quality is about developing and delivering a product which meets and hopefully exceeds the consumer's expectation. All the quality built into the manufacturing process, packaging process, delivery process is aimed ultimately at an enjoyable consumer experience. So how do we achieve this high standard of quality at Nicopier Labs? This can be broken down into a few distinct categories. To begin with, we start with high quality starting materials, raw materials, and ingredients. But what does that really mean? It means obtaining and using high purity raw materials from verified, reliable sources. Points two and three are somewhat related. When we talk about the consistency and the reliability, what we're looking at is, is the consumer expects that the Tribeca 6 they bought six months ago will taste and perform the same as the Tribeca 6 they purchased today. So quality, in this sense, is a measure of consistency and reliability. Value. This aspect relates to the high quality product that tastes exceptional, which the customer views as a good value. And finally, taste. This is one of the hardest quality aspects to measure. It relies on human opinion. However, at Nicopier Labs, we have performed several consumer feedback sessions to aid in building and developing a high quality great tasting product. Quality starting materials. In a previous Nicopier webinar, we heard an excellent presentation from our regulatory specialist, Mindy Williams, where she talked about the four components which make up the majority of e-liquids. At Nicopier, we start with high quality raw materials from reputable verified vendors. We receive vendor certificate of analysis, which are CFAs, these are documents that which come from an accredited analytical lab verifying the identity, the purity, and some of the physical properties to help ensure the quality of the compound. The base materials of all e-liquids is vegetable glycerin, VG, and propylenglycol, PG. Both of these materials are considered grass, which is generally regarded as safe by the FDA. And this grass classification means that these compounds are not toxic and have been proven to be safe for human consumption. The grades of VG and PG we use are USP grade or higher. What that means is, is USP is the United States Pharmacopeia and it's a classification which has predefined specific qualifications for the purity, identification, and most importantly is the absence of, of known toxic compounds such as ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol. Now, while both the, the ethylene glycol and diethylene gly glycol sound very similar to propylene glycol, which can be very confusing, the previous two, the, the ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol, are toxic. As with the case of VG and PG, the nicotine we use is also USP grade or higher purity material. And this has also been provided from a highly reputable verified supplier. Our flavorings come from highly reputable sources, which also have vendor supply certificate of analysis. As Mindy mentioned in her previous webinar, we ensure the absence of diacetyl and acetylpropanil. Both of these compounds are a concern for supposed toxicity, and thus we want to ensure that they're absent from our, from our products. As a secondary level of quality control, we at Nicopier use state-of-the-art analytical instrumentation to ensure the absence of these potentially harmful compounds to ensure the absence of diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol, and to ensure the absence of diacetyl, we use gas chromatography coupled with single quadrupole mass spectrometry, commonly called GCMS. And then based on authentic standards, we were able to confirm the absence of these compounds at levels well below what the USP has pr proposed. We also use the same instrumentation to for the identification of nicotine the VG, and the PG. Meaning, for example, we will analyze vegetable glycerin against an authentic standard of vegetable glycerin. 
which is supplied from a secondary source, such as a chemical standard supplier. This provides a secondary level of quality by guaranteeing that the VG we are using to formulate our e-liquids is actually vegetable glycerin when compared to this secondary verified source. Also, the mass spectrum provided by the instrumentation along with database searches helps confirm the identification. All these test methods are fully validated, which means that all the analytical aspects including linearity, precision, reproducibility, etc. have been determined for the method over uh, several weeks of testing. And these tests are also based on good laboratory practices, GLPs. The GLPs are an internal, internationally recognized set of quality lab procedures and documentation to ensure the quality of the data. The aspects of these methods and their validations will be discussed in an upcoming NICAPIR webinar. Quality formulations. As noted on the NICAPIR website, we have based our quality formulations on a process of development with consistent customer feedback. Through several iterations of development and customer feedback, we were able to deliver a high quality, great tasting product. Once this feedback loop has been tested and established, we lock down the recipe, which means we set the recipe and do not allow any changes to the desired formula. As our formulators are creating the desired product, they are following a set of defined standard operating procedures, which are called SOPs. These SOPs are put in place so that a consistent, reliable product can be formulated based on a set recipe. The SOPs encompass everything from typical formulation functions such as balance calibration, glassware cleanliness, calibration types, specific formulation containers, and specific storage containers. Once the product has been formulated under rigorous conditions, it is ready for filling into the appropriate bottles and cartos for shipping. The process of bottle filling and cardo filling has been set in tested and verified SOPs. Another level of quality to ensure that the formulated product is filled in the appropriate and justified containers to an exact and set level. Quality assurance. So how in Nicopure Labs do we ensure and test the quality of our product? This is done by ensuring both quality assurance and quality control. One of the common misconceptions is that quality assurance has the same function as quality control. I've heard and seen on the internet several instances where the two terms are used interchangeably. However, these two functions perform two different distinct and important roles. Quality assurance is process oriented. Their functions include quality processes, developing a quality manual for the organization to follow. The quality manual can be based on ISO, which is International Organization for Standardization Credentials, such as ISO 9000 or ISO 17025. The QA function is also responsible for ensuring and documenting proper tr training of employees. This function will also routinely conduct, based on our operating or standard operating procedures, vendor audits. And here, this is just for the qualification of vendors in assessing their viability and their GMP, which is good manufacturing practices, their compliance to it. The QA function, we also will do internal audits, which is a secondary check of our internal SOPs and methods to make sure they're being followed. During our next NICAPIR webinar, we will go into more detailed information about the roles of the QA group. Quality control. While the QA function is responsible for the processes, the quality control is the analytical side of the equation. The quality control function is meant to find and measure any instances of non-conforming product. They test raw materials, intermediates, and final products and compare their analytical measurements to a set of standards to ensure that the products are within specifications. For the rare occasions where a product may fall outside of the specification range, a corrective and preventative action plan is performed, which is basically called a CAPA. The CAPA is used to determine the root cause of the non-conformity and is also used to show how to prevent the nonconformity from happening in the future. Therefore, a cap is used to help provide another level of quality to the process through actual testing. The quality control function is also responsible for generating the final C of A's for the finished product to ensure quality and adherence to predefined, predetermined specifications. As mentioned during the section on raw materials, 
and GCMS analysis for starting materials. This function is performed by the QC group. They also use state-of-the-art gas chromatography coupled with flame ionization detection, which is GCFID, along with authentic standards to confirm, to confirm the ID and purity of the starting raw materials. Therefore, we can verify the vendor-supplied CFAs and ensure top-quality starting materials. And finally, commitment to quality. The final slide in this presentation is the NICAPIR commitment to quality, as listed on our website. There are various operative definitions of quality. Some define quality from a strict product angle, while others associate it with controlled manufacturing. Many perceive quality as a function of subjective consumer preference, and yet another school of thought ties quality to value per price. At Nicopier Labs, we strive to not only meet, but exceed all standards when it comes to the quality of our products. From product concept to consumer satisfaction surveys, the attention to quality permeates throughout all of our actions. Thank you for tuning in to our Nicopier webinar. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more webinars.